This is Unit 1401 Video 7 on Conversions and Unit Rates. Uh, unit Rate is just a comparison of a number to one in different units. Uh, we write these as fractions. Know that you must simplify by dividing and you should always put your units in your answer. So in the first problem here, we have 120 students in four classrooms. If we want to do a unit rate to see how many students are per classroom, we just do 120 students over four classrooms. And the denominator is four, so that means we divide both the top and the bottom by the four. So 120 divided by four is your 30. Four divided by four is your one. Um, next one, 29 grams of cube per cubic centimeter. Well, it's already a unit rate because when it says per cubic centimeter, that just means one cubic centimeter. So it's 29 grams over one centimeter cubed. Just remember, a unit rate is when the bottom number is like one unit. Uh, a jet ski is traveling at a speed of 4 nautical miles per hour. If 1 nautical mile is 6,076 feet, what is the speed of the jet ski in feet per second? I'm going to first just um, write out our 4 nautical miles per hour as a fraction. That's a unit rate. So 4 nautical miles for 1 hour. Well, we're trying to make it feet per second. So we have to convert not only the nautical miles, but the hours. Let's just do the nautical miles first. Uh, in conversions, remember just multiplying fractions together. And if we're trying to cancel the nautical miles, we want to remember that the nautical miles have to be diagonally. From it have to be diagonal from each other. So I put nautical miles on the bottom and feet are on top. Taking our conversion, the one nautical mile is 6,076 feet. I'm just going to put one in the in the denominator and put the 6,076 feet on top. Now, just like numbers, when you multiply fractions, you can cross-cancel for your um, units. So, nautical miles cancel here. When I multiply these together, or multiply straight across, so I take 4 times 6,076. My top number is... 24,304. Remember, you should have feet with your um, numerator. Over, well, 1 times 1 is 1. That's 1 hour. Alright, so we're now left with that. We have to um, convert our hours to seconds now. So let me just rewrite this. Now we have to think about how many seconds are in an hour. Well, we could do a short way or a long way. If you know how many seconds are in an hour, you can use that as your conversion. But, you know, I just know that in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So when I just do our, um, like our multiplication, just remember hours cancel. The minutes cancel as well. So when I multiply straight across, I notice that we have 2, 4, 3, 0, oh, 4 on top. That's feet. On the bottom, I see we have a one, a 60, and another 60. Well, it's just 60 times 60. 
So 60 times 60 is 3,600. So now we have our units we want. we want. We wanted feet per second when we started this, which is now what we got. But now we just have to divide. So if I divide here, 2, 4, 304 divided by 3600, we get roughly 6.75 feet per second. Sally was riding her bicycle at 20 miles per hour. What is her speed in feet per second? So we're just going to do the same thing, 20 miles for one hour. Just going to multiply by our conversions that we're going to be doing. Again, same thing, miles to feet. Well, there is one mile in every 5,280 feet. Remember, the feet are on top because we're canceling the miles. We also have to convert hours to seconds. Well, you know, if we've done this before, we should use our knowledge that we gained from the last example. We know that in one hour, there is 3,600 seconds. So our hours will cancel. Now we just do our multiplication. 20 times 5280, 105,600 feet in 3600 seconds. And then we finally divide. Divide. We get. 29, you know, it's a strand at 0.3, it's actually 0.3 repeating, so I'll use a repetition bar here, uh, feet per second. Last example here. A helicopter descends by 3,000 feet in six minutes. What is the change in the helicopter's elevation each minute? So let's write our fraction here. We have 3,000 feet in six minutes. Uh, here we just want to know what is the change per minute. So we're really focusing on the denominator here. We've got to change this to a 1 on the bottom. Well, if we recall, when the denominator is 1, that's a unit rate that we're that we're finding here when we do that we just divide the top and the bottom well 3000 divided by 6 that would be 500 500 feet per minute so again that's our unit rate for this example and that's all it's asking for just the change per minute so on average the helicopter descends 500 feet per minute. All right, there you have it. That's your unit rates and your conversions.